Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa Frugal, and I know it's been a while uh, since I made a video. Here is a new one, finally. Yay! This video is going to be about 10 different tips that are going to help you save money. I made a video with like this in the past about a year ago. This will be a living on your own edition. I started living on my own in... How long has it been? Two hours later. So it's only been like four and a half months that I've been on my own. But um, quickly had to learn and adapt how to budget and everything because you got no support from your parents. Let's get to it. 10 tips on how to save money. Part two. Tip number one, there's this group on Facebook that's called Buy Nothing Group and basically it's as it sounds, you buy nothing. Uh, a lot of people post stuff that they don't want anymore and you can give away stuff that you don't want anymore. At least this way is there's zero waste because this item can go into a second home and be used and plus it just feels good to give it away rather than throwing it out. What I like about this group is that yeah I could get free food or I can get stuff that I need instead of buying it. For example if I need to get a hair dryer since I moved here and I didn't have my own I could just ask the group. Some people will respond. If you don't get a respond then it's time to go out and get your own hair dryer. Another thing is it feels like I'm shopping. Tip number two. There's this app called Flash Food and it's basically buying food at a reduced price so you can get a lot of great produce that are about to go bad or things that are about to go bad but you know you can still eat it after a week or two. I'll show you guys the app. Just search in the area that you're in, put on, make sure your location is on. You can see which stores have flash food. So this one I usually go to because it's the cheap, I'm um, in the closest one to where I live and you can see the different meats that are best before 2000, um, March 13 which is gives us two days or we can freeze it like I said earlier and eat it another time and there's hummus and one of the best thing things that I love is that they have produce boxes which you can see here but they're not that great there's ones that give you so many fruits and vegetables like if you compare it to actually buy it individually yourself it's probably double or triple the price this one has usually a lot of good produce is the one in Richmond like here there's a bunch of new ones right now like this is amazing. It has like oranges, onions, cucumbers, peaches, not peaches, um, peppers. <laughs> they both started with pea. But yeah, like there's so many different things. And then you just say if you wanted that one, you just click on it, add it to cart, and then just check out. It usually sells out pretty quick. So you can order it and then I think it gives you like a, a five day time frame for you to pick it up. I usually pick up the day that I buy it or when I'm actually there. Yeah, so I remember in the beginning, I would go there and look at the boxes to see if they're actually good and then I would purchase it. So tip number three, make your own drinks. At Christmas time, I got Starbucks gift cards for my sister. I got like $60 worth and I used it all. I collected the plastic cups. I like to reuse them when I make my own drinks because it's some, some reason feels 10 times better drinking it out of a store-bought cup because it feels like I bought it, but I didn't. So it's like a discounted drink of it's zero dollars and I have one from chat time as well that I can hold cold and hot beverages which are the best and I usually like to make the drinks and just bring it out with me tip number four free entertainment doing things that are free well I'm lucky enough to live in BC and my one of my favorite things to do is go hiking so I could take those Instagramable photos I'm just joking it's not the point of it maybe one of the ten reasons but anyways that's free and it's good for exercising That'll be another point later. As I mentioned, the Buy Nothing group, they sometimes they give away board game equipment that you can use. I have a roommate that has a badminton racket that I have been using like almost every single day. It's the best. I've actually been playing it inside the house as well. Tip number five, don't have a credit card or use cash. When you see it physically, the money means a lot more. Number six, free trial. If you're like me, you like to do a lot of free trials. I have like probably five different emails that I use. There's a mo one movie that I really wanted to watch. It was only on Amazon. So then I made a second count. Just make an email for each month until you find someone that has it so you can use it too. Or you could just rent it illegally online. <laughs> Tip number seven, birthday giveaways. I haven't tried this out yet. Well, I've done it in a few places that, um, for example, Starbucks give you free drink, any size, anything on your birthday and I think Bath and Body Works gives you $10 for your birthday month and there's actually quite a few actually I was looking into it there's like 
Um, Denny's gives you free breakfast, but I guess it depends on the province that you live in. Luckily, BC has its. And Red Robin gives you like a four ounce burger, and IHOP gives you free pancakes. But some of them also require an ID, so if you're trying to use it on a non actual birthday and just say it's your birthday, it won't work out. But I'm actually planning to do this for a video. It'd be nice to get all this free shit too. A lot of it's food. Who doesn't want free food? And then number eight is free haircuts. So I actually got Noel a trimmer in December for his Christmas gift and I've been cutting his hair. He actually went to the barber one time. That cost him like $40 with tip. I'm like, bruh, it would have been free if I did it, but it won't look as uh, nice. But I'm getting better, okay? I am cutting it like I think once a month. So I'm, I'm learning how to layer, uh, what's it called? Layer? Layer? Fade. Yeah, I'm learning how to fade it. So try to blend it in and fade it. And for myself, like females, we don't really cut our hair that often. And if you've seen my other video, I kind of effed up my hair. But Noel cut my hair in the past. His hair, his haircut made my hair look better than the way I cut it. I guess because he can see it, but I kind of helped him out at as well. But you can see the different layers between the two. Like look at like I'm grabbing it. It ends here, and then there's like so much free extra hair. But because my hair is much longer now, you can't notice it. Number nine. Oh my gosh, I kind of miss this in Toronto. You can go to a community center and go to the gym for free but here you have to pay for it which is so annoying because i was actually banking on this um i was looking into it it's about 50 dollars for 10 visits that's about five dollars a visit and that's such a five dollars for an hour well it's not too bad but still it adds up right so i've actually been going to like there's this park right across from my street it's actually a humongous park and i yesterday i've actually worked out in my chest my arms hurt because I haven't not worked that out in a long time. There's so many workouts that you can do with the bench. Yeah, just find different ways to work out. Like going hiking, that's working out. Getting free stuff from people's houses, you gotta run there, that's a workout. Biking, walking to work, that's a workout. Luckily, Vancouver, everything's pretty close. Like me and Noel went downtown and it took us about an hour one way. So like, or an hour and a half one way and then, yeah. Number 10. But the most expensive thing that's going to be on your expenses is probably your rent. Right now, we are paying about a thousand before utilities between the two of us. So it's not too bad. So it's like 500 each person. But utilities, it ranges. So in the beginning, it was, in the summer, it was like in November, $33. But now it's been high because of um, winter, I guess. Those still. It's been about $100 per person for utilities. So like I'm paying between 1100 to 1200 but yeah, those are the 10 tips on how to save money, part two, living on your own edition. Uh, living on your own is not too bad. I learned how to adjust it and definitely found different ways to be frugal. Um, but honestly, if you take anything out of this video, it's number one. That Facebook group is the best thing that's ever happened. I'll, show, I'll leave the link actually below so you can see if there's a buy nothing group within your area or your city as well. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, have a good night and a good life. Peace.